At first glance, College Park's Mackenzie Moore may appear cocky as he holds his form on made shots a little longer than usual, but maybe it's a little deeper than that. Maybe this young man is so grateful to be back on a basketball court, he enjoys these moments more than your average player. Here on the court, I, I love it because it takes my mind off everything. I just, you know, just score, just play, just have fun, and just get my shots up after practice. And it's just, it's very comforting, you know. It's kind of like this is the place that fits for me. Yet not too long ago, McKenzie was in a place that never fit him. And while he is not one to make excuses, there's certainly factors which led to McKenzie heading down the wrong path, mainly his mom Dorothy's health. She has diabetes, and it's gotten bad. She's a little overweight, but you know she's working on that, trying to get better. And uh, she just, she's always in the hospital, got a lot of stomach problems. McKenzie played on the Falcons varsity team as a sophomore, but the team struggled mightily, going 5-21. and 21. It's around this time McKenzie began losing focus. He was placed on probation for threatening a classmate, and then violated his probation by failing a drug test. When I was not in school, my mom was sick, and financial problems were bad, and you know, it just looked like it was over, like there was, you know, like there was no more hope. McKenzie spent the next seven months at the Byron Boys Ranch, a juvenile center for troubled youth. You know, the environment I went, it, it just didn't fit at all. You know, the shoe just didn't fit for me. Always uncomfortable, I never got comfortable in that place. Since he missed so much school, McKenzie is repeating his junior year both academically and athletically. Only now he's seeing his world through a much more mature pair of eyes. I just gotta focus on myself and my family and the people that you know, wanna do something with their life because it is true the people you surround yourself by is the people who you become. At six foot six, the point guard is a matchup nightmare. His 22 points a game is second in the NCS and he's also averaging seven rebounds, almost three steals and five assists. I see the floor very well. I love the pass and get my teammates into it. We're here for each other, you know, just getting them in the game. Furthermore, second year head coach Craig Battle is constantly preaching defense and it's working. The Falcons are 12 and two this year, matching their win total from all of last season. One of the things McKenzie has added to this team is he's a leader. The guys, you know, follow this lead. And so when he's going out there, putting the effort on the defensive end, it kind of create the energy for everyone else. I couldn't even be more proud of the guy. Me and him is like, He's like, blood wouldn't make us any closer as brothers. You know, we hang out off the court, on the court, work together off the court. Former NBA player and now basketball instructor Phil Handy is also helping McKenzie. The two met over the summer and Phil began working with him on the court as well as mentoring him off of it. AKA dad now, he's really in my life. You know, helps out, helps my family. He's a great guy. With Dorothy to his left and a basketball in his hands, there's no place McKenzie would rather be. He heard he'd never change. Another underachiever. And now look at him. He's even enjoying defense. McKenzie also credits his sister Vanessa for helping him to stay on the right track. And one final note, McKenzie's verbally committed to play at St. Mary's after he graduates next year.